Son number two comes along and says, I need to be taken to athletics, please. And so I have to throw him in the car and his favorite event is long jump. He's one of the best in the country at it. I'm a data guy. I store all the information about him and his mates when they do long jump. So here we have, for example, every time they have a competition, competition one, in this case, they get four jumps. I measure their distances, who, who did the jump. I also measure what the wind was like, because as you can imagine, when you're running into a headwind, it's harder to jump long. If you're running into a, with a tailwind, it's better. And if there's no wind, then it's fairly neutral. But I measure every single jump across the entire season. People say, how do we find the highest jump achieved by each competitor? That's obviously easy. That's just a group by. What's the highest jump by everyone? Grab their name, get their maximum distance and group by their name. And we can see there's my son, Aiden. He highest is 716. And here's all the rest of the kids with their jumps, etc. So that's an easy query to write. But one of the things that gets people frustrated about SQL sometimes is you take something which has a simple solution, you introduce a tiny change to the requirement. In this case, oh, what was the wind like when they achieved that particular high jump? And it's hard because you think, here's my SQL. I need the wind. Okay, I throw the wind in. Now what do I get? I get an error because I didn't add the wind to the group by. But if I add the wind to the group by, then this max distance is no longer correct because now I'm grouping not by name, but I'm grouping by name and the wind. I'd get too many results. So we had this anomaly here where I need the wind, but I want to group by the name. How do I solve it? People often solve this with another inline view and extra nesting and double joins. It's complicated, but we have a nice easy solution called the keep clause. The keep clause really sort of alters the definition of an aggregate. Normally, if I do a max on say salary, obviously it's the value, the, the column inside the brackets that I'm actually doing the maximum on. The keep clause lets me separate the definition of max based on the ordering. So to explain that, the syntax is a little bit cryptic, but bear with me. I want to get an aggregation on the wind, but rather than just looking at the value of the wind itself, that aggregation is actually defined by the distance. So my definition of max in this case is go get the distance, order them by distance and find the last one, which means the highest. I could have done dense rank first, order by distance descending. It's the same thing, but I'm actually saying get the highest distance but when I find the highest distance, rather than return that, which is what max distance would be, return the wind. It's actually here that defines the effectively the definition of max here. You know, sort by distance, find the last one, gives me the highest one, but return the wind, not the distance. And therefore I get Aiden's highest jump of 716 was done when there was no wind. Alex's highest of 679 was done when there was a tailwind and so forth. So I managed to sort of pick up these extra attributes without interfering with my group by definition. Because it's this expression here that's going to find me the highest value, in this case distance, the term max here is a bit sort of superfluous because even if I'd chosen, for example, min or average, it doesn't really matter because it's actually this expression here which is picking the row that I'm interested in. In reality, I don't need to use the word max. What I could use is use an expression called any value which came along in Oracle 19. Any value, I think, is probably a more self-documenting expression here because it's actually this which is defining the definition of highest here. But yeah, the keep clause, very good for adding things to your group by.